when I worked for Pastor Stan. He, he preached a message one year at Cedar Lake called, We Know a Secret. That's what the word mystery is, just a secret. He preached a message called, We Know a Secret, and people loved it. And then he put it in the searchlight a couple months later, and people loved it so much, he put it, printed it in a booklet. And when he, when he sent it to the printer, he told the, the printer, he says, I want you to put on the cover a picture of a man whispering a secret into the ear of another man, and both of them are smiling, the one's smiling to tell it, the other one's smiling to hear it. And when it came back from the printer, instead of that, on the cover it had a picture of a guy going, shh. <laughs> and Pastor Stan was fit to be tied. That, 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 that conveyed the very opposite of what he wanted to convey. We're not to be shushing the secret. We're to be making all men see what is the fellowship of now maybe you're here this morning and you're thinking, well, that's impossible. We can't make all men see what is the fellowship of the ministry. And that always reminds me of an old military joke. Those of you who served in the military would appreciate the humor of this. One day a soldier was ordered to report to a distant city, and he was ordered to get there in one hour. The soldier said, it's impossible to get that far in one hour. And his commanding officer said, well, it can't be impossible. I got an order for it right here. <laughs> and like I said, if you served in the military, you understand the quote unquote humor of that. But my dear friends, let's not sit around and say it's impossible to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. We got an order for it. Notice it doesn't say, notice what it doesn't say. You know me, I'm always saying, look what it, the Bible says, but look what it doesn't say. It doesn't say make all men believe what is the fellowship of the mystery. It just says you can't make anybody believe in it. But you could make them see it. Whether they believe it or not is up to them. A lot of people do, a lot of people don't. And notice it really doesn't, also, it also really doesn't say make all men see the mystery. It says make them see what is the fellowship. The fellowship that exists in this joint body between Jews and Gentiles. Hey, listen, in Paul's day, it wasn't any different than it is today or has ever been. In Paul's day, Jews hated Gentiles and Gentiles hated Jews. But suddenly, suddenly there was this new entity called the body of Christ. Jews and Gentiles peacefully coexisting. People thought it was amazing. You'd go to church and you'd see slaves and masters sitting right next to each other. And Paul says to the slaves how to treat the masters, masters how to treat the slaves. You wouldn't think they'd get along, but they did. And right next to each other, Jews and Gentiles in the same local church, in the same body of Christ. Hey, in the Old Testament, Jews and Gentiles didn't like to be in the same room together, let alone in the same body. Jews and Gentiles peacefully coexisting. It was unheard of in all of history. And it's this that Paul wants us to make men see. The effect of this oneness that we have, not just the doctrine. We're being called on not just to preach a doctrine. We're being called on to live a life. Showing the oneness that we have with every member of the body of Christ. For the sake of time, and those of you who have to get some word for Mother's Day, we're, we're just going to make one more comment. He says in verse 9, we're to make all see the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God. Now notice what it doesn't say. It doesn't say it was hid in the Old Testament. Lots of things were hidden in the Old Testament. Have you ever heard of the types? You know what a type is? A type is an Old Testament shadow of a New Testament truth. Probably the most basic type is the animal sacrifice was a type of the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Uh, we have a type of the resurrection. I picked one here. Remember when the Lord said in Matthew 12, 40, third from the bottom there? For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. 
Jonah's experience was a type of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And you could look back there and say, oh yeah, the, the truth of the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, it was hidden there in the story of Jonah and in many, many other places. Those are what the types are. But there is not a single type of the body of Christ in the Old Testament. There is not a single type of the dispensation of grace in the Old Testament. You can't find the mystery in the Old Testament. You can't find it in that goofy Bible code they came out with a few years ago where they're reading between the lines <laughs> to find some secret message from God. Just read the lines and find a message from God. Well, I've told that story a lot of times. So no, I heard the story. What time is it? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock. The mystery was not hid in the Old Testament. It was hid in God. You like to do Greek word studies? That word unsearchable that we saw a little while ago? It's got to do with your steps and your footprints. You know what, you know what it's saying? God didn't leave any footprints in the Old Testament about what he was doing. <laughs> it was all hidden away in the mind of God. It was not hidden in the Old Testament. Now you compare that to something that you read in your next to last reference in Ezekiel 28. You know what Ezekiel 28 is? It's all about the devil. And the devil was a pr proud creature, still is. And you know one of the things he was proud of? Look what it says in your next reference. In Ezekiel